Hello again. Let us start a video about how to identify acids, bases and salts. In chemistry we have a lot of chemical formulas and it is quite difficult for us to identify acids, bases and salts. In this video, let us try to learn how to identify acid, bases and salts just by looking at chemical formula. Without wasting our time, let us jump into the topic. First, we need to learn about acids. Let us see the definition for it. Acids are the substances which produce H plus ions. Try to remember the definition and H plus H stands for hydrogen. Okay, let us see some chemical formulas and names of acids. You can see hydrochloric acid HCl, sulfuric acid H2SO4, nitric acid HNO3, carbonic acid H2CO3, so, you can find all chemical formulas of acids. Can you see any common point in these formulas? Yes. Every chemical formula is starting with a letter H. So, by this simply we can conclude, whatever it may be the chemical formula, if it is starting with letter H, that is acid. So, acid, there is a common chemical formula for acid that is H. X. H stands for hydrogen and X stands for some compound. And let us compare all acid chemical formulas with this. You can see H hydrogen. Cl is a compound chlorine gives HCl that is hydrochloric acid. H2 hydrogen and SO4 gives sulfuric acid H2SO4 and H NO3 that is nitric acid. So, what can we say? What is meant by acid and how can we identify acid? Just if any chemical formula is starting with hydrogen that is acid. Here you can see a list of acids and formulas. Each and every formula is starting with a letter H. So, it is quite easy right to identify acid. Now let us see base. What is meant by base? Bases are substances which produce OH minus ions. OH is hydroxide. Before learning about base, we need to have some idea about metals. I think so you know symbols of metals. You see sodium represented with Na. Latin name is natrium. Magnesium, Mg. Potassium, K stands for Kalium, Calcium, Ca, Aluminium, Al, Iron, Fe, Latin name is Ferrum, Copper, Cu, Zinc, Zn. Okay, if you want to learn about bases, why do we need to learn about metals? That is the question, isn't it? Let us see general formula for base, that is MOH. What is M? It is metal. What is OH? It is hydroxide. Okay. Now you see some chemical formulas. Na is a metal that is sodium. OH is hydroxide gives sodium hydroxide. Mg OH taken twice gives magnesium hydroxide. Ca OH taken twice gives calcium hydroxide. So by looking at chemical formula, we can easily identify base. How? If a chemical formula is starting with a metal and ending with OH, hydroxide, then it is base. You can see some list of bases and formulas. All these formulas you can observe it is ending with OH. Fine. It is so easy for us to identify acids and bases. How to identify acid? It starts with hydrogen. How to identify base? That ends with OH. Okay. Now let us see salt. Any chemical compound formed from the reaction of an acid with a base. So, let us see this definition in form of equation. Salt is nothing but acid plus base gives salt and water. It is quite simple. 
and do you remember the general formula of acid and base yes for acid it is hx h stands for hydrogen x is compound base m o h m stands for metal o h stands for hydroxide now how salt is produced it is quite simple from base metal will displace from acid that compound will displace and general formula for salt is m x and what atoms are left h in acid o h in base and forms h o h nothing but water okay let us try to understand this by some examples now we know how salt is produced acid plus base gives rise to salt and water let us take one example hcl hydrochloric acid naoh that is ending with oh it is a base sodium hydroxide gives salt nacl and water you see from base sodium is displaced from acid chlorine is displaced like that salt is produced let us see another example let us take h2so4 sulfuric acid naoh sodium hydroxide and salt we got sodium sulfate plus water this equation is not balanced you need to balance it so from base metal will displace from acid compound will displace forms metallic compound that is salt so salts depends on acid so from hcl you can find cl we need to pronounce it like chlorides if any compound is ending with so4 we need to pronounce it like sulfates hno3 that is no3 nitrates from carbonic acid co3 carbonates so salts depend on acids so salt formed by hcl is chloride salt formed by sulfuric acid is sulfates salt formed by nitric acid is nitrates salt formed by carbonic acid is carbonate let us see few examples you see nacl sodium chloride na2so4 sodium sulfate nano3 sodium nitrate na2co3 sodium carbonate so by this what we can conclude how to identify salt it is quite simple salt contains two parts first part is metal second part is chloride sulfate nitrate carbonate any one from these so you can see now there is a small quiz for you you need to identify acids bases and salt from these chemical formulas so i'm dis displaying you some formulas hno3 cano3 koh hcl caoh taken twice mgso4 taken twice naoh zncl2 h2so4 now can you identify before that hints you need to remember how to identify acid that starts with h how to identify base ends with oh how to identify salt there will be metal front and ends with chloride or sulfate or nitrate or carbonate okay let us see first one hno3 so that is starting with hydrogen simply we can say it is acid second one cano3 there is a metal calcium ending with nitrate it is salt third one there is a metal potassium but it is ending with oh that is base very good next hcl starting with hydrogen definitely it is acid next caoh taken twice ending with oh it is base next magnesium sulfate magnesium is a metal sulfate is a compound so it is salt na oh ending with oh it is base very good last zn zn cl2 so first part is metal 
second part is chloride it is salt and last h2so4 sulfuric acid of course so it is quite easy to identify as its bases and salts right so if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe thank you